Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Tony Beeman, your host for BlackInc.tv. And we are here to inspire the next generation of Black entrepreneurs to think bigger and straight go for it. Uh, our guest today is definitely all about that. And I'm very excited to speak with her. Ms. Marshall Willis is out of Kansas City, which we have a lot in common there. She is the founder and CEO of Black Owned Business Kansas City, which not only helps business owners get started, but they help to go bigger themselves. Can't wait to speak more about that. Also, Facebook Community Accelerator Program participant. Without further ado, Ms. Marshall Willis, thank you for being here on BlackInc.tv. Thank you very much, Tony, for having me. Absolutely. You know, we've got a little something in common. I'm from Kansas City. I'm from the Kansas City area. I'm actually from the Kansas side. I grew up in Olathe, you know, but uh, what part of Kansas City are you in? Blue Springs. Blue. Okay. Okay. So you're talking about the Missouri side. And, and so, you know, when you talk about Kansas City, I mean, you're really helping out the, the, a lot of the Kansas City area, huh? So Black Owned Business Kansas City is um, all of the Kansas City area and the surrounding um, suburban areas as well. I mean, as you know, it's um, one city, two states, but don't mix the states up. <laughs> so, yes, we definitely um, do have members all around. Oh, yeah. No, don't I know it? <laughs> wow. Wow. So, Mark, t tell, tell us, you know, about about you. I mean, did you grow up in the Kansas City area, you know, and yeah, just tell, tell us about how you grew up, you know, and kind of the stuff that that really inspired you, especially what inspires you to, to, to start to start uh, Black owned business Kansas City? Uh, good question. So, yes, I am born and raised. I've been here, only lived here my whole life. Um, growing up, I was always around entrepreneurs. So even though I didn't really understand, of course, you know, as a little kid, what that meant, I definitely saw people that, you know, was was having making their own money, um, you know, their own bosses, and that is probably why I got into wanting to be an entrepreneur. The reason that I started Black Owned Business Kansas City a decade ago was really kind of selfishly just to sort of help myself. I was opening a beauty supply store at the time. And I went to places like SCORE and the Urban League and, you know, all, mm -hmm. they gave good help. It was, you know, once it was over, it was over and I didn't have a friend, like I didn't have a friend in business. So that's what made me create a community. I had already had other Facebook groups before and I knew how that community felt. So I'm just like, you know, let's go on and start a business group. So started that um, August 12, 2012. And like I said, we're here a decade later, even though I've been doing this for a decade, I am only really just getting started. Yeah, yeah I, I totally understand what you're saying about SCORE. You know, I, I, I myself um, years ago worked with them on some business planning stuff. But yeah, yeah, you know, it's to, to have more of that, that mentorship and kind of walking, walk, walk you along and and. Wow. Yeah. To, to have to have somebody like you to be able to do that is is pr pretty amazing. But what types of businesses do you typically do you typically see? Everything. We have every single type of entrepreneur that is a part of Black owned business, Kansas City. And not just entrepreneurs, we have consumers. We have people that simply want to be an ally and support Black businesses, mm -hmm. whether they're African American or not. Um, we have people that are professionals, you know, even though they may work for a corporation, they are people that we want to do business with because they are our skin folk. And it may be a doctor. We, we want to seek out, you know, special, um, you know, OBGYNs and different types of doctors mm -hmm. because we feel that those people are going to take care of us better. So, you know, those types of members are of Black-owned business Kansas City, or even if certain doctors or people aren't of black owned business Kansas city, people are asking, well, who do you recommend? And mm -hmm. someone is able to give a recommendation for someone that they, um, that they trust. Yeah, absolutely. You know I mean? And yeah. You work in the, you can have a lot of degrees. You can work in the, the, the corporate world, being a, 
VP and all, yeah, it's it's a completely different skill set altogether when you start your own business and being an entrepreneur and making your business grow and thrive. Yeah, to, to, totally, totally different. Um, I, I think I saw recently that you had um, the black owned business ball there in Kansas City and it looked pretty fantastic. You know, talk, talk about that. I mean, that, that, that looks like it. it's gonna be a pretty big uh, annual deal there. I mean, I mean, I yeah. myself may wanna come out and check it out. Yes, yes. So we've not had it yet. It is gonna be um, next August. Everything is already um, scheduled as far as the ballroom and stuff, but it is going to be our inaugural, but it's definitely something that we've not seen in Kansas City as far as an actual black ball um, associated with or attached to that. We are going to have some awards given and the day before there was going to be a black expo that is open to the public. So it's a two day event and just a time for us, you know, ultra ultra black, <laughs> uh, black excellence, just, you know, we, we're going to dress up and just be, you know, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I, I got it. I'm very impressed. You know, when um, the website itself, uh, you, hey, obviously you're taking a lot of great time to, to put together an, an incredible event that's got an unbelievable amount of uh potential. Uh, do, do, what, where, where do you see foresee that possibly leading to? Well, I, I have a couple of goals with um, Black-owned business Kansas City. So right now I'm working on um, raising funds for not only just um, to have a successful event, obviously, but to also be able to give grants during the award ceremony. I would like all of the people, there's going to be a whole voting process and you know selection, but I would like the uh, people that are selected by our community to not only have you know a shiny new award um, to to go home with, but to also have an investment within their business um, by way of a grant. Mm -hmm. So that is that particular part of the goal. Um, outside of obviously being able to raise money for Black-owned business Kansas City, um, I have uh, you know the, the goal is to definitely do that annually. But I do have a three to five year plan to eventually open the um, the economic or um, the enterprise center of BOBKC. And that's um, something that's going to definitely take a lot, but it's something that I'm hoping that the um, annual balls are going to, it's going to just sort of uh, ignite um, that fundraising process. Wow. Wow. You foresee it possibly spilling over to other cities. I mean, Lord knows, you know, there's a lot of areas that, that could do, do use the exact thing of what you're talking about. So mm -hmm. much potential. Wow, wow. Do, do, can, can, can you, do, I don't know, do, do, where, where else could you see it happening besides, I mean, McCann City, but uh, I mean, I know out here in, in Oakland, I could, I could definitely foresee that happening. A ball? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> everywhere, yeah. everywhere. And definitely in Oakland, that sounds awesome. <laughs> um, but yeah, just um just something really prestigious and you know, that's not New mm -hmm. Year's and <laughs> um that's not like a club event, just something that we're able to definitely just kind of amplify and um champion one another. Wow, I want to I want to get to this uh, the Facebook Community Accelerator program, um, and you 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 were one you were one of the very few that were actually chosen to be part of this program. Can you tell tell us about the program and maybe how many participants? And I mean, wow, this is this is pretty incredible. Um, it's definitely a great opportunity. Um, at the same time, I deserve it. <laughs> I've been doing this for <laughs> I've been doing this for a while, and I'm finally able to just kind of have some really handholding to sort of maximize the whole purpose of the um, accelerator program is for us to build our communities, um, not necessarily in numbers, but in um, in actual impact. So I am so grateful to be able to be a part of the program. We officially start the program um, tomorrow, but the day that I talked to um, the guy, last week, I think on the 20th, that was the day that we were able to make it public. So as far as how many people, there are about, um, I, think, I believe 8,500 um, applicants. 
Mm. And in the North American region, only 33 was selected. So out, out of um, worldwide, there's 135 participants. So, you know, definitely super stoked about being able to see how we build. Um, and, you know, there is a grant associated with being a part of the program. During the program, we are going to sort of work on, like I said, impact. And I plan on really laser focusing on what I can do when it comes to the Black Business Ball to see what resources and, and additional things that I can get from Facebook, um, you know, what I learned with that just to kind of uh, elevate that further. Congratulations on your success with that. I mean, that that's really, really, really incredible. You know, and like like you said, uh, hey, you, you you deserve it. You've you've been at it for for a long time. You know, you've obviously overcome some some major hurdles and continue to do so along the way. What what can you can you talk about? Maybe what what you know one or two of some of your biggest challenges have been, and 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 how you maybe have have overcome them to uh, to make you a stronger leader and a stronger entrepreneur. Well, as far as the community is concerned, um, like I said, we've been around for 10 years, but only this year did I actually make Black-owned business Kansas City my business. Um, and I plan on adding a nonprofit arm to it just because that's where the you know scholarships and the grants and things come into play. Um, but as far as like any struggles, it's just you know, announcing different changes within the community that aren't always uh, received well, um, and then having to tweak them. You know, sometimes if people just really don't like it and they've been doing certain things for a very long time, you just kind of have to listen to, um, you know, what your group wants and and tweak some things. So that was really like recently some of the um, the biggest things that I kind of ran into was just making a little bit of changes and it may, you know, wasn't received well. But outside of that, I think um, overall it's been pretty good. Well, it so, sounds like I mean, if you're like, like, like most of, <laughs> and most of you know, it, it sounds like like there, there was probably somewhere uh, a, a line in the sand, you know, where like this, this is it, and I'm I'm making the decision. I'm not looking back. This is it. Um, what what was what what was one of those moments where where you drew the line in the sand? And that was it. Honestly, I never do that because yeah. um, my motto is I reserve the right to change my mind. <laughs> so that's about anything. <laughs> um, so, you know, it, it is like, OK, these are the rules. And, you know, I made the rules. I made the group. It's my group. You know, it's it's kind of you, you, you may have that kind mm -hmm. of mindset, but I'm always um, also always have a mindset that you know, sometimes you work things out. Sometimes you just sort of test it. And if the test fails, then you stop it. <laughs> um, so it's never really a, a actual hard permanent line. Like you said, draw it in the sand, that water can just wash uh, the sand away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, I, I remember I'm just thinking of uh, you know, man, going from a transition from, say, uh, an employee to an entrepreneur it can be, hey, that's that's difficult. You know, I mean, hey, you, you face challenges. And sometimes you're like, oh my gosh, well, should I just should I just go get a job? Should I, you know, but then hey, you finally like this is it, you go for it. But yeah, that's that's all that's all I was talking about. Oh, I'm sorry, I misunderstood then. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> There's a lot we could we can definitely talk about though. But no, um, right now, um, Black on Business Kansas City is my baby, along with my actual baby. Mm -hmm. um, and <laughs> so I am right now just really dedicated 100% um, to really focus on building that because I want to I want to just be an asset to the community. Wow, that's fantastic. Well, hey, before we go, I want to be respectful of your time. Is there is there anything you could share with uh, with uh, with the audience to like, you know, really, really to keep to keep them inspired to make sure that they don't they don't uh, discount their dreams and stuff. I think that leaning on and learning from people is going to be the best way to sort of um, support your dream. And it doesn't necessarily mean that they have to know every detail of your dream. Um, it can just be emotional support. It can be actual mentors. But you know, using your community and 
allowing people to either introduce you to new things or, um, you know, um, follow them, um, allow them to just kind of pave the way so that you're able to learn from them. Well, Ms. Marshall Will, thank you so much. Congratulations on all your success. Thank you for everything you're doing to the community. Hey, I'm from the Kansas City area, so it's very personal to me. Wonderful. So I am I'm so happy that you allowed me to be a part of this. Thank Absolutely. So it's a very it's an honor to speak with you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time we have for today. I'm going to put my LinkedIn profile link here on the bottom of the, uh, the page. Hit me up on LinkedIn. But we'll see you next time on Blacking.tv. Thank you again to our guest, Ms. Marshall Willis. We'll see you next time.